What's going on guys? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. Sorry for the uh, awful echo that is in this room right now. Yeah, there's just not enough stuff in here. I'm gonna have to add some soundboard over here and I don't know, I'm gonna have to actually install an exhaust fan over on this wall right here just to suck out some of the fumes and heat. Not really so much the fumes, it's more the heat. But yeah, so what do you guys think? This is going to be my new space and live stream section. Just need a nice door for the bathroom there, but other than that, I think I'm in pretty good shape. All the printers are there. I can prep all the GPU hangers over here. I'm actually gonna be putting a screen or two on the wall right in front here. And then I'm going to be running some wires into the basement over to the electrical panel to get 100 amp service out here to this garage because I think I'm gonna be bringing some mining rigs here. I really don't want to, but at the same time, I kind of want them here because it's easy when there's problems. I don't have to drive a half hour to see them. Um, so I have a few thoughts about that, but we'll leave that for another video. Either way, today in this video, real quick, I just kind of want to show you guys the difference between installing Hive OS on a USB versus a M.2 SSD. This is what you'll need to use for the M.2 to be installed with Hive OS. Basically just turns it into a USB connection. This pops apart and the M.2 just kind of sticks right in there. And then it's just a case so you don't zap anything and you can handle it easy. All right, so to be honest, I've gotten a lot of questions about like which one you should use, if one's better or not. Um, to be honest, in my opinion, I don't think one is better than another. I just think one is built better than another. Um, SSDs or M.2 SSDs, they're made to have constant rewrites and USBs are not made to be constantly used. This is built to carry a Windows operating system. A SanDisk USB is really not built for that purpose. So you're using something that it's not really intended to be used for. But I mean, in saying that, I have Hive OS on plenty of these and I have yet to have an issue. Take that with a grain of salt, but let's get into the computer. I wanna show you guys the uh, install speed. So let's do it. All right, so here we are. What we wanna do is go to Chrome. All right, so first you wanna Google search Balana Etcher and download this program for your PC. Okay, right here, download for Windows. Obviously go through all the prompts and download it onto your computer properly. Then, once you have it downloaded, let's go to hiveos.farm slash install. And what you're gonna do is download this GPU zip file. Once you have the HiveOS file downloaded, you wanna open up Balana Etcher. Double click it, the screen pops up. Then you're gonna choose flash from file. You're gonna to go to your downloads folder, find the folder or find the file you just downloaded and click open. You wanna select the target. 32 gigabyte sand disk is what I put in there. All right, let's see how long this takes. We are gonna flash this USB right now and time it. All right, time. So it took 17 minutes and 48 seconds to flash this drive. All right, so as you can see, flashing the USB worked. So now let's put in the M.2 SSD and see how much faster it is to download HiveOS onto. So as you can see, I have Windows downloaded on that drive. So we're gonna have to format this, I assume, to get rid of Windows. And here we have it. Now we're gonna flash from file. We're gonna choose the Hive OS that we downloaded again. Select drive, we're gonna click on this. That's what I put in, in A data. It's an M.2. Select it, and we're gonna click flash. This just gives you a warning to let you know that you're about to erase the entire drive. So that's what I'm going to do. Yes, I'm sure. Look at that, flash is complete. Literally a minute and 37 seconds. The time it takes to flash an M.2 over a USB, there's obviously no contest. This is just a video to show you guys the difference in speed of downloading this software. 
onto these two drives. Please don't forget to check out my Hive OS for Noobs video. I have an older version when it was my first time installing and a newer version, complete walkthrough. I will link it above. Also, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to join our Misfit Mining Discord group. There's plenty of people in there that will be happy to help you. Please stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.